shape. Um, touched up the bottom can a little bit with the hull cleaning. Zinks are in good shape. Uh, while it's out of the water, we actually did a tuna grind on the prop. Just taking down that sharp edge on the leading edge, reducing the uh, prop sing at low RPM. Good shape. Underwater lights there. Looks like it's in really nice shape. Clean. He's glowing. Love that armor coat gel coat. This one also has the uh, updated port lights on each stateroom. Also, custom fly bridge on the top with the second helm. Oh, I got up under there. He videoed under there. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I got that off. Oh, okay, right. here we are aboard Easy Water uh, 2020 Aspen C120. Beautiful condition. Just had it hauled out for bottom cleaning, bottom paint touch up, and checking the zinks. Everything uh, works as it should. It's in really sparkly condition. Covered slip here really helps with that. Um, I'm gonna step aboard here. V6 to the 440. Um, about 370 hours on this engine, really low hours. Just had oil change, ready for the season. As we move forward, we've got our cocktail bar, folding window assembly, uh, going up to the flybridge. It's got Second helm chair, really nice feature. Also, here's our built-in cooler. Beautiful dinette table, compass rose inlay. This receipt reclines. Uh, that's an option, oh, excuse me, standard feature. The option is the forward reclining. Um, really spacious galley, three burner stove and oven. The oven also includes a broiler burner. Looking down here, we've got the camera right here. Twin mattress. We're using it for storage. Going forward. Beautiful teak interior. There's the helm. Equal seat. Seating for pilot coke captain, co-pilot. Over here we've got a port side head. Owner's been keeping a dehumidifier running here in Alabama. Stepping below here we've got actually an Island King. It's hard to get in the camera here just right, but big port lights, nice hanging locker forward, and then ventilation Overall length of the port lights combined is 42 inches. That was an upgrade back in 2020. Up and take a peek at starboard hall. You know, outside here is uh, currently a little storage, but um, queen mattress. Going forward, we've got the starboard um, head pass through shower, going forward up to the owner's suite. Uh, this is the starboard hull that's larger, larger and we've got a little bit bigger hanging locker on the starboard side over the port. They're really similar. And then the standard television, ocean air blinds and shades, all the lights dim, um, and a really super comfy mattress. Um, a lot of folks will kind of put their pillows on this side. Personally, I prefer putting my head and pillow on the forward side. That way, when I step out early in the morning, I've got um, the steps here right underneath my feet. Um, so teach their own. Uh, vanity. And then a lot of folks forget about this little feature. Uh, just a little storage here for the starboard side. So as I mentioned, um, just had an oil change, just cleaned the bottom. Um, also, 
the batteries are brand new. They were just replaced, so fresh batteries as well. There's the helm position. The center is a 16 inch display, and then to each side of it is a 12 inch. I really like running with, um, running, you know, the, um, different scales on the chart plotter and or radar, and then also having um, the engine camera running with um, engine data. So, yeah. And yeah, actually 373 hours there. So, really nice, super high value C120. Give us a call. Thanks. So here we are cruising along at about six miles an hour, and we're only burning, I don't know what we're burning, uh, 1.4 gallons an hour. 3.7, 3.8 miles per gallon. Really efficient. A good trawler usually gets closer to two miles per gallon. And here we are, 24,000 pound boat, doing almost four miles per gallon. Okay, walking through the salon into the cockpit here, we have a really nice bench seat. Um, this is a mount for uh, the cockpit table. In addition, we have the uh, cocktail bar here. Everything's just glowing. It's like showroom condition. You can see our finishes. Um, just a beautiful teak. Of course, the davit assembly recesses down into the swim step. Uh, the bustle is where the propane locker is, additional storage for items that you would be putting into the tender. Currently we have the tender deployed uh, for doing our photo shoot out here on the Tennessee River. Beautiful cruising zone. Look at these cliffs. Lots of bass fishing, lots of cruisers. Um, moving along, the starboard deck trail is actually wider than the port side. Um, just to give you easier access up to the bow. Um, and nice handrail here, moving along. We have a additional bow seating, big hatches that um, give you light and ventilation in the stateroom. LED nav lights. Beautiful windshield. This is the skinny side. We have um, two. 30 amp services. Uh, as you can see, they're labeled air conditioning and then house. You can also transfer the power from the house if you don't have high load to the air conditioner and run one air conditioner that way. Nice step down. Tons of storage. See extra shore power, cleaning supplies. There's the winch for the Davit. Under here. Nicely organized. This is the control for the Davit. 
Um, all the spare parts and fluids are being sold with the boat. We have an aft reclining seat. And then under the table, I've got spare filters and belts, things you want on the boat for a big trip. Look at that beautiful teak table and the compass rose inlay. This boat's been kept in the Tennessee River for the last two years with uh, a covered slip. The slip is transferable. It's about $4.95 a month. Here we have the Corian tile backsplash, full sink. Okay, here we have a six kilowatt Kohler generator, 53 hours currently on it. Um, we have a power supply, 110 volt outlet for running your um, your heater for winter storage, uh, along with some of the water pumps and the valves. Um, but clean, proud bilge here. And uh, again, it's a six kilowatt Kohler generator here.